Well, hey, y'all, you can see the wood stove behind me. It's, uh, I'm looking at the thermometer right now. It's 38 degrees. I need to be reusing this wood stove, but I'm getting a little paranoid. Um, I've been burning a lot of wood. It's been really cold. And when I was a kid, my dad's house had a chimney fire. So I want to make sure I don't have that. So if I had to do it over, but I don't have a choice where this wood stove's at, I'd rather have a wall mount. That way you can just be on the ground and, and clean it out. But this just being such a tiny cabin going through the wall would I would have lost wall space. And I you it's so small, every inch counts. So it goes straight through the roof. I've got straight pipe here, and then it goes to double wall right there, and then out the roof a double wall. So I'm gonna go to the roof and start cleaning it out, set a ladder up, and uh let's see how it goes. This is the third time I've done it, but uh this is the longest I've ever gone, and I'm afraid that's going to just be creosote tar up in there, but I, it's got to be done. I got a good sunny weather, and it seems like it's always warmer mentally when the sun's out. So I'm going to get up on the roof. Well, the camera's not going to pick it up. The turbine's moving good, and the camera's probably not going to pick it up either. But right there's the Smokies. My God, what a gorgeous day! So uh, I'm going to move the camera around and try not to fall off the roof. Maybe the camera can pick this up. I got a tactical light, so I might need to get us enough light. So it may look bad on the camera, but I'm just ecstatic. Uh, it's paid off. I try to only burn wood that's two to three years old. I let it season that long. Like I said, when I was a kid, my dad had a house fire and uh, in the chimney, and I've been paired to whatever since. So I'm gonna get going on this, and uh, when I'm done, something else I don't like, so a lot of people don't do it. This crystal on the roof, it has stained. I flaked it out when I took this cap off. <laughs> so, uh, Anyway, I'll get a broom up here when I'm done and try to clean it up as best I can. But uh, I'm going to get to go work here.
So it's gonna wrap the roof up. I got the cap back on. So the tools of the trade, you need a socket set, chimney brush. I cut mine a little bit so it'll go in the pop. You can see in the video, it's still a struggle. Just when it hits a joint. And then I use a broom, get all this creosote away from here. And uh, turbine's running great. I'm making good power today. What a view. Let's go downstairs. Hey everybody, I, I appreciate you watching the video and you can see I've got the door open. This is the last thing I do. I've got a temperature gauge and I'll let this thing just get cherry hot now. Any kind of remnant that fell in the wood stove and I didn't get cleaned up good, that way there's no back graph of smoke that comes back in the, in the cabin. This is something you can definitely do, you can do yourself and you can hear the wood stove starting to pop and this water tank starting to pop. That water's already getting hot. so. Uh, Something you can do and the tools that you need, you need a brush. I use a six inch and I use a four inch. I didn't show the four inch in the video just to save some time. I don't want to bore you to death. I use a barbecue brush, socket set, flashlight, and a broom. That's it. Uh, when I was a kid, there was chimney sweeps that, sweeps that you could call and they would come and work on your, your house. That doesn't happen anymore. And this is something you need to do anyway. I'm going to reach down at the camera real quick. My back has been killing me, so it's hard to do. But something else I keep by the fireplace, I've got a fire extinguisher, but I've also got one of these just squirt fire extinguishers. If this ever gets run away, open the door and hit it. And then I've also got a jug of baking soda. So between a red fire extinguisher, this, and baking soda, you get a chimney fire, the fire department's not coming. So uh, this, this will take care of it. And uh, this will wrap the video up. I appreciate you hanging out with me. You can see the fans starting to kick on now. That's pretty cool. So uh, I do appreciate you watching. And uh, it's something, you, like I said, something you can do. Take care. God bless.